Okay, one final time for those of you who haven't been paying close enough attention. WrestleMania 24 might turn out to be a decent show. It might even turn out to be a good show by the standards of a typical pay-per-view. But WrestleMania is not a typical pay-per-view. Standards are higher for WrestleMania. At least they should be. And looking at this card right now on paper, I just don't see how it could possibly measure up to those standards. First of all, mo literally half the card for this show was slapped together in the last three weeks. What is the story of Batista versus Umaga? The story is SmackDown challenges Raw to a match, and that's it. This match will mean nothing, okay? Both matches involving the ECW title will mean nothing. You really think I'm going to shell out one single penny to see the likes of Kane and Big Daddy V and the Great Khali and Mark Henry vie for what is basically a third tier belt? And to the person who chewed me out in my comments about not giving Finley enough credit, I like Finley! Finley's an awesome brawler. Bradshaw's the one I can't stand. That guy sucks the life out of every segment he's in. He should have stayed a commentator. He was great at that. And even somebody as great as Finley is, isn't, is not going to be able to elevate this Hornswoggle nonsense. This whole Hornswoggle angle from the very beginning has been an early candidate for worst feud of 2008, and I dare anybody to disagree with me on that. And as for the main event, let me ask you, let me ask you guys something. What kind of story is this match going to tell? Cena defying the odds again? Triple H burying everybody who isn't him? I have seen both those stories so many times now, I honestly have no interest in either one. And before you guys start bitching me out to just not order the show, I'm not going to order it, okay? I don't think this show deserves my $55, and I don't think it deserves yours either, but that's your decision to make. You know, not mine. If you want to order it, that's fine. I'm not. And that is the last that you're going to hear from me on the subject of WrestleMania 24 because frankly I am sick to death of this whole subject. Thank you very much. There's this guy I know who once said something that really stuck with me. He said that an optimist is usually disappointed but a cynic is often pleasantly surprised. And you know something? He was right. Now, before you guys give me, you know, tons of crap for being a hip being a huge hypocrite and saying that WrestleMania was going to suck, but ordering it anyway, I didn't order it. Okay, I said I was going to comment that I was not going to buy this pay per view, and I didn't. I watched it online. I didn't pay for it. I, I I admit morbid curiosity got the best of me. Plus, I wanted to see Ric Flair's last match. And in the interest of remaining 100% objective, here's where I'm going to eat a little bit of crow. I said in a recent video that this pay-per-view was going to be atrocious, and as it turns out, it wasn't quite that bad. Was it worth $55 or $60? Absolutely not. But it wasn't totally devoid of substance either, and I'll get to that in a minute. First, the bad stuff. Finley and Bradshaw. Decent at best, okay? There were some pretty stiff shots here, and Finley's suicide dive was really cool. But, you know, aside from that, there was nothing much that was memorable here. I mean, Finley busted his ass to make that thing good. I'll give Finley credit, but I think we all pretty much knew that Finley was not the reason why this match was going to be unimpressive. I mean, Bradshaw seriously needs to make friends with a treadmill. That guy's in pretty poor ring shape right now. And the fact that he went over here just means that this horrible storyline is going to continue to waste TV time for at least another month. Batista and Umaga, awful, just as predicted. That Bosch Batista bomb at the end was embarrassing. The ECW title match... Wow. Poor Chavo. I mean, poor, poor Chavo. I, I mean, I had a feeling that they were going to make him look bad, but I didn't think it would be that bad. And as for the new champion, a guy who just can't make the main events no matter how hard he tries, so let's make him the third tier champion and prove just how meaningless that belt really is, as if people didn't know already. Bunny Mania, the lights went out during the match. Kind of symbolic, huh? Big Show and Floyd Mayweather, all the fans wanted to see that little punk Mayweather get his ass kicked, and WWE's response was to put him over instead. Fuck you very much, Vince McMahon. Thankfully, once this, once all this crap was discarded, the rest of the show you know, kind of went into an upswing. Money in the Bank was awesome. Of course, we all knew it was going to be awesome. It always is. I said that in my other video. 
some really innovative spots in this match. John Jim Morrison or John Morrison. Is it Jim Morrison now? I don't know. Uh, doing a, a moonsault off the top rope with the ladder. That was insane. Shelton getting dumped outside the ring. You know, landing on that ladder, bridge on the ring apron, breaking the ladder. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. CM Punk got the win, which was a legit surprise for me, considering how he's been pushed recently. He doesn't exactly look doesn't exactly look like a title contender right now. But that was nice to see. Hopefully they'll start building up his character now. Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels, this part was fantastic. Okay. Best thing about the show by a mile. There's so much emotion in the air, you could feel it. I mean I mean it was it was, it was really sad to see Ric Flair's career come to an end, even though it was time, you know, the, the time had come to, to put a period at the end of his legacy, I guess, but HBK gave him a great send-off, he made him look awesome, and Ric Flair, he's, he's still the man, he will always be the man. Although I couldn't help but notice that Flair was allowed to be a lot more competitive in this match than he was in his match on Raw a few weeks ago with Vince McMahon. What does that tell you? Then there was the Raw main event, which I was dead sure was going to be the main event of the show. And I was thrilled when it wasn't. Thrilled. Very good match here. Um, not a match for the ages or anything, but very good, very solid. Uh, the right guy went over, thank God. Uh, going into this show, I was just dreading the start of Triple H's, what is it now, 12th world title reign, I think. But they did the right thing for a change. They gave the win to Orton, and now, finally, Randy Orton looks like a credible world champion. It took them way too long to do it, but better late than never. But one, one thing I ought to mention, though. Triple H seriously needs to stop saying that the King of Kings goes back on his throne before WrestleMania is, because every time he says that, he loses. And uh, <laughs> then the main event, and I know I criticized WWE a lot, but I do still like a lot of the wrestlers, and I've always been an Edge head. So it was really great to see Edge finally get to headline WrestleMania. I know in the past few years, Edge felt like he deserved that spot, but he didn't get it for one reason or another. So for him to, to finally get it after all this time and all that hard, all this hard work, that was really great to see. Um, they were right to have this match close the show. It had a lot more buildup than the Raw main event. It just made sense. Um, the, first, the first few minutes of it were pretty slow, but it picked up after that. I wanted to see Edge go over, and I think we all knew that was never going to happen. But it was still a great and exciting match. The only really bad part was the commentary. So overall... Um, yeah, you know, WrestleMania 24 turned out better than I thought. Uh, the bad stuff was as bad as I thought it would be, don't get me wrong. But there was some good stuff, and there were some pleasant surprises on the show, too. And that's something. Still not worth $60, but better than I expected. Which was not hard, since I was expecting absolute shit. And now, that will be the last you hear from me on the subject of WrestleMania.